Hi, let's simulate this RRC idle mode and connected mode uh, through the drive test logs what we received from the field. So if you see here, there is no data that is transmitted between the user and the network. And currently after coming out from the active mode or the connected mode, currently it is in idle mode. And there are different messages what we can see here. The first one is the MIB messages that is conversating or that is transferring between the user and the eNodeB. And this information we understand it contains the bandwidth, it contains the system frame number and some indicator channel information. And then next to that, what we can see is there are some SIP messages and primarily there is a SIP one that is being transmitted, which contains further information about the PLMN identity and the cell global identity. Now, we understand there are different further messages which is being passed on within the SIP messages, which are having a different frequency in that case for the transmission between the user and the base station. Now, in case of connected mode, what normally happens in that case, the data start transmitting, but before that, what actually happens between the eNodeB and the UE. So here on the right side, what we can see is, we are just talking about the, the conversations, the messages which are happening between the UE and the eNodeB. So once there is a connection setup request that is happening, there would be a connection setup complete messages which will actually confirming that the, the connection between the UE and the eNodeB is established. And there would be a, in the backend between the eNodeB and the MME, there would be a NAS messages or the authentication that is happening. Now this, this authentication and ciphering procedure we are not capturing here. We are just capturing the messages between the UE and the eNodeB. Once the authentication is done, like the UE is authenticated to avail the services, what it is asking for, once it is done, there would be a RRC connection reconfiguration coming from the eNodeB towards the UE. And once it is done, there, there would be a ERAP that is established and it is confirmed that RRC connection reconfiguration is completed. So all these messages, what we can see here, these are the different messages which are transferring when the user is going towards a connected mode. On the backend, now there is a connectivity established with the core network and we'll see in the, in the next slides where we are talking about the accessibility, like how in the initial attach procedure, the messages are transferred between the user and the, the core network in that case. 